Hi, it's Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. On today's lesson, we're going to look at the rock classic, Under the Boardwalk. Under the Boardwalk is a classic song that I uh, perform many times at many different gigs. It's very popular. Uh, it's in the key of G, which uh, you need to remember that the key of G has an F sharp in it. And also, uh, this particular song, you have to make friends with the note uh, D sharp, which is the same note as E flat. D sharp and E flat are the same. So that's uh, part of the challenge of this song. The melody also goes up into a high B. And uh, for those of you who don't know, the high, high B, when you get up there, you have to give it a little bit more um, pop. Because if you don't, people say, well, my high notes don't work. Well, part of the problem is that you haven't given them enough force. So they should, you should need more wrist. I'm not talking about doing this. I'm talking about a little bit more wrist action. Uh, improvisationally, this song is pretty simple. It stays in the key of G, and uh, the key of G goes. Well, it has an F sharp in it. It also has A minor and D. But all of these, all these chords uh, will be notated. But all those chords all are related to the G major scale. So really, if you play anywhere in the G major scale, uh, use some of the tricks that we always talk about. Quote the melody. Re use repetition. Scale-wise passages, you'll be fine. The difference is when you go to the bridge. The, uh, the key is kind of switches to E minor, which is uh, related to the key of G. So again, it's the same scale, but you might want to use uh, a couple of different licks that, that we'll talk about. So stay in more of the E minor mode and less in the G major mode. So here we go. <laughs> So forth. You can go back and, and uh, do some more improv, or you can play the melody again. <clears throat> one of the things that I'd like to use on that one, uh, on the bridge part, which has the E minor chord, the E G B. I sometimes like to use the the B flat because it just it makes it more of a what we call a blue note. It's more of an E minor blues uh, lick. I kind of work that in a little bit. You can experiment with that. I also use the G major pentatonic in the other section, uh, G, A, B, D, E. But I started down here, so that way I get more notes. D, D and E lower. And you can go upstairs too. Play those fast, makes you really sound like you're, you're uh, uh, well accomplished in improv. You can also use uh, the, the notes playing them together, so I, I think I did some of that. Maybe not, but uh, you can use the chord tones, A, C, E. I think I did that, and then I did D, F, sharp, A. There's nothing wrong with arpeggiating the chords. Arpeggiation, again, means to split the chord up instead of playing all together. So split them up like this. Or you can go. You can use different rhythms that are, that are appropriate for that song. It, it just adds, it fills space, 
and it, it makes you sound like a professional because uh, it's not playing the melody. And there's nothing wrong with quoting the melody too, so don't don't forget about that. I think I also did a scale wise. I think maybe coming down. I did the G scale coming down. You can tell I did that one scale for I don't know maybe five or six me uh, measures altogether. Even though the chords changed, the scale works over all that, so it kind of makes you sound like you're doing something different. It's an optical illusion. It's an audible illusion, if you will. Um, so great song and easy to improv on. Uh, a crowd favorite for sure. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching the videos. Uh, please feel free to leave comments or questions about the video. That way we can maybe have an idea for another video. Uh, subscribe to the channel, that way you know when they, they come out, usually every Sunday night. And if you have any book needs, uh, any music needs for uh, player along tracks or full band arrangements, tropicalstores.net is the place to go. I also want to encourage you to go to panland.ning.com, which is a, uh, a social site for pan players. There's videos on there. Uh, people from all over the world have joined. There's also free downloadable music there, um, PDF files and tracks alike. So. Thanks again. We'll see you later.